everyone. So much has happened over this past week. We miss you and hope that everyone in your family is staying healthy physically and emotionally. I wanna share some of the incredible learning that's taking place at SAA. Middle school is actively involved in their online learning and have truly not skipped a beat. I wanna thank the students and their teachers for stepping up and stepping in to make this learning meaningful for everyone. Our fourth and fifth graders met together virtually this morning for morning meeting and all our students and families from our parenting center through eighth grade will be engaged in Zoom by the end of next week. Our amazing teachers, staff, and administrators continue to work incredibly hard to create, design, and implement lessons in an unprecedented amount of time. In addition, we are partnering with the clergy at the temple to provide meaningful tefillah as well as holiday programming as we approach Pesach. Stay tuned. We are all doing our very best and are learning together along the way. We have heard your feedback. Trust me, we take it seriously while always working to be intentional about the developmental stages at every level. We are all so very appreciative of the emails of thanks and support we have received. They mean so very much to us. We recognize that this time is difficult for everyone. If you are like me, you may feel the need to be in control. I have been called a control freak at times. The challenge at this point is that it feels like everything is out of control and that can be scary and can create stress and anxiety. When we are stressed and anxious, as many of us are right now, that is transmitted to those around us. May I suggest that rather than thinking about what we can't control, let's focus on what we can control. We now have been given the time that we never seem to have. Time for sitting down for meals together, time for reading a good book or reading books to our children, time for working on our relationships, time for reaching out to friends, time for exercising, time for taking a long walk or taking a nap. It is also a time for creating calm within our homes, for building and trying to adhere to schedules and routines. It's time for teaching our children resilience and the strength that resilience brings. I know that there are many disappointments, canceled simchas, vacations, programs, but your children will learn from this experience what are truly the important values within your family. As a wife, mother, and grandmother, I get it. It breaks my heart not to give my children and grandchildren big hugs. When my grandson says, Grandma, when can I sleep over next time? I cry inside but I must be grateful for what I do have. I can FaceTime him. I have food to eat. I have family, friends, and a community that cares about me. We each must do our part. I ask you to invest time and sensitivity in your relationships with your family and friends. Practice generosity for others, including others you don't even know. This morning, I heard a young American mother living in Milan provide some very practical advice. She said, choose peace over panic, choose faith over fear, practice kindness. As we enter Shabbat, I wish you peace and health. Shabbat Shalom.